streets. You know what I'm saying? I had to show you love, let you know the city loves you. You feel me? For real, for real. I'm about to have a homie spray paint on. What up? What up? It's original Dom Kennedy. I'm sitting here live with Cam Carter. City Talk, Charlotte by Charlotte. OPM. OPM. About the Charlotte vibe. Man, I love it, man. I had a yeah. great day in Charlotte. Man, yeah, we went and touched the stadium, oh, yeah. the store. Yeah, you gotta got eat some the food at the stage. midnight diner. So you, you had the clean man. slate on. You had the clean slate. The what? The shirt. The shirt. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. To my boys. Yeah, Don and them Jeff. The Jodeci. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they had gave me one of those some years ago. A white one, and oh, I asked them to make me a black one, and they did. Yeah. Okay. So I heard you say um, during the concert you're gonna be back. Yeah. Early in January, is it gonna be on the half a meal tour? Is it gonna be No, no, no. I was saying I'm gonna be back. I said we got the OPM uh Young Nation we finishing up right now. That's gonna uh -huh. be dropping top. Okay, of okay, okay. I'm gonna be back twenty nineteen though for I sure. I remember you uh I talked to Hit in the DM too. He told me y'all uh y'all working on that half a meal yeah, part two. Exactly. Um how talk about just talk a little bit about the chemistry between you and Hit because for you to progress from, you know what I'm saying, when you was here last time, get home safely. Yeah. Um, you signed artists, you know what I'm yeah. saying? You also collab with artists, so yeah. especially I saw your interview a few weeks ago yeah. talking about your relationship with YG, but I know that yeah. hip boy chemistry is something totally different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not just courtesy half a million, there's mixtapes on Spinrilla. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's a it's a breakdown. So talk a little bit more about the uh, relationship y'all just have in general. Yeah, man, it's more of a homie relationship. Like a lot of people they ask me to do features or things like that. Right. And, it, and I don't really, I've never done a feature for no money or nothing like That's that. Right. I only do features with people I vibe with. with and people Good I'm music. working with and I'm with right now. Or if That's I really dope. know you, I've been to your city, then you can email me something. That's you know, vice versa. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's just how I do. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's just the type of person I am. So with Hit, it's 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 more it's even more organic because that's somebody I really fuck with. Like we have fun on that same type of level and just enjoy vibing and working together. Yeah, so got that music telepathy exactly. thing going on. That's and dope. then we work together on the music and it's like, cause that's what we do. You know what I'm saying? Um, so it's more like working yeah. with your homie. You know how? Yeah, yeah, like y'all in the studio together, but this exactly. is really your man. You working exactly. on? You know what I, mean? I think one of the dopest videos in the last few years is that uh, in the hills. Um, might yeah. as well that that part yeah, one like part that. two. Oh, that yeah. transition is cold. Thank I told him I was like, yo, we gotta get somebody that get that part one part two thing yeah. going. Cause them two songs that you know what I'm saying they they complement each other so well. Thank um, you, yeah, it. already. Um, a little bit about Quentin Miller. Um, I feel like a lot of people only know Quentin Miller for one thing, but Quentin Miller's such a dope artist. You yeah, know what I'm saying? So one of the um, best. Especially with the uh, In The Hills, just talk a little bit more about um, him as a music person, y'all. Quinn Miller, one of the crazies. I, I think I said that in the interview. In terms of like coming up with styles and like always well, being on point and just being so witty with it and creative, man. A lot of people is not creative, even if they a little could rap a little bit or do this. Facts. Quinn Miller could do everything. I feel like his thing is just like, he too, he's so talented. Mm -hmm. He can't, he gotta choose what you wanna like, do yeah, the most, it's right? It's like somebody right. that's just like crazy talented. And it's hard for them, to, you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. hard for being able to figure out how to put it I'm all out of Exactly. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. the people that digest mm -hmm. it, it's very hard for them to decipher like what songs I should, they should do this now, pick up or from. I should push this right now because yeah. this is that season. I tell right. everybody, I feel like every artist has a season. Yeah. I feel like you want them individual artists that don't really have a season. Like you can drop something when it get cold, I like get home safely. Right. Oh, we're going to bang with it. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, right. But you can also drop something like the Yellow album, and yeah. it's like it's a Thank summer you vibe, you feel me? I feel like the biggest thing, especially with making music that you make, it's not always like like they talk about most people in Cali, they always talk about the game music. You one of the first people, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Sat down and said, hey, like we living a good life out here too. Yeah. Like you can look at this half full or half empty. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just talk a little bit more about how much your flow has changed. Cause I remember you said this this volume two is like the yeah. first to your second, you know, your half second half of your career. Yeah. And absolutely. I think that's pretty dope because I feel like yeah. I've watched you progress and I can hear it yeah. progress from a yellow album yeah. through Get Home Safe. I'm just more you in love saying? with, as you do it more and more, Yeah. and even being on this tour, it's important because you get to get that media feedback you dope. get to get with yeah. the people. But I feel like, as opposed to when you're young, you're more raw. Fact. And you just, you know, you yeah, might sure. fall into those ones where you like, my thing was just break all the records. Like, mm -hmm. They say you can't have a dope song with no hook. I'm gonna try to make one. You know what I mean? I'm gonna try you to take rap on the, the challenges. Yeah, yeah, you take on the challenges. Yeah. Now I'm just more in love with making magic. You know what Facts. I'm saying? Making, making something fly. that you know you feel it. You feel yeah, it. yeah, making fly new music. You know that's yeah. gonna last a long time. And it's a challenge, but I think that's why I put that tag on volume two because it's like I feel like we tapping into something new again. No, I think you, you know are. what I'm yeah. saying? And and we just gonna keep with it and get better with it going forward. And I feel like that's where the Young Nation mm -hmm. and then what we drop after that is gonna come to play. But the songs we got on Young Nation, part two that we gonna drop, I know is real mm -hmm. special and it's I a continuation of 
Pop. you know, my volume too. Okay, dope. But I also just drop, you okay. know, in terms of like what we've learned yeah, yeah, yeah. and how we coming, because it's like you saying, like even now, my young homie, like G4, Nico G4, like he's not a young, he's dope, we've dope, been doing yeah. it for a minute now, yeah. so it's like now people are expecting 10, 12, us. Yeah, yeah. To bring them them records, them yeah, songs. consistently them hits. Exactly. They expect that because you're that, a legend. That you really quality have to of work. So it's like we we up for the challenge, and I'm excited. Yeah. One question I always have for you. Um, one of my other favorite songs is definitely Dominic, but okay. that Dominic part two. Yeah. That beat. Talk yeah. a little bit more about um the development of the you know the song Dominic and how you came up with like which man, one is that? that? Um, Dominic part two. Yeah. That's definitely on the same one with um TPO, um California. That's oh, okay. after you feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So a little bit more, um, cause that, I, I feel like, like you saying your song, people say I fell off. I'm like, how? Yeah. I feel like that's what that's one of my favorite albums by you, and I feel like that was yeah. your way of telling niggas, yeah, you feel like I fell off, but yeah, yeah, I'm kind of yeah. I'm tapping into something it's new. Different, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And it's like I gotta get I mean, used to it, like y'all got used to it. Exactly. It's just the kind of person I am. I've always been willing to take a chance or do something first or do something yeah. different. Yeah. That's what I felt in my heart. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I truly believe in at the time. You know, it's music. Like I. I appreciate art for all oh, what it is, yeah. you know what I'm Thanks. saying? You might have an album and people will be like, they don't like this. And then 60 years from now, people are like, Love whoa, it. this is great. You got right. albums Ahead today, time. And everybody yeah. can play. Mm -hmm. And then 60 days from now, you like, I can't believe you listened to that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's really Which one do you want to be? You know what yeah. I'm saying? You got to ask yourself, you know what I'm um, saying? But it's timing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's timing no, that's, that's definitely and true. And being prepared for the moment. Like we you said, know? your season, yeah. Exactly. What about Charlotte? Uh, what kind of vibe does Charlotte give you? Because you know, a lot of, a lot of you know, Charlotte give me like to, big you know city, big city South vibe, yeah. man. Yeah. Charlotte really, to me, honestly, I, um, my cousin, he live out here. We was talking about oh, it earlier. Right. Charlotte not really second to nothing in my eyes. You know what I'm saying? I done been when through here a couple yeah. times exactly yeah. where it's like, they gon' show up, they gon' look good, they gon' get his flies, everybody, and they gon' show super it's love, you know what I'm saying? So, to me, Charlotte is up there with all of it, with Houston, with Atlanta, you know what I mean? You gotta put them in, Charlotte is in that conversation yeah. with everybody, like. Are there any Charlotte artists, like, over the weekend you were able to listen to a little bit as you like? Yeah, nah, you a lot, a couple producers came up to me. That's what's up. You know okay. what I'm saying? And, and chopped it up with them yeah, and, yeah. like, told me they make beats so, and look out for them and this right. and that, but I wasn't able to, we wasn't here long enough. We just got here Yeah, right. To, you, you on know, you, it's going, it's yeah. going. Yeah. I haven't really picked up on that like that though, nah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Favorite moment from the tour so far? Have you had one of the moments yet? Were you like, damn, yeah, like, this is why I go on tour? Yeah, man, every night. Every the night is different. Right. Every night is different. Every night is special. I try to take, you know, I try to switch things up. Something, mm -hmm. a song I might add, a song I might Yo. take off. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate, like, being able to now do songs like Platinum Chanel a cappella, you know? We play that every day. I remember, yeah. We play that every day. I remember, like, in the same way now, like, having that out and people, like, like what the skipping fuck is this? over Yeah, it. Like, exactly. like, I'll come back to it on the west side, but this is, this is dope. Yeah, people I got you. forget that. You yeah. know, at some point in time, Platinum Chanel was uh, just a banger. Uh, it was just that one that sat to the side. Exactly. Yeah. And, and then, then over time. Got, exactly. People see how special And that's how is. I feel like they're going to do with this volume, too, because yeah. there's a couple songs on here. I'm like, and you can't hang with us. I'm like, y'all know in two years, y'all going to be here like, OPM, hey, right. and you going to hang with us. And hey, come on. feedback because I see a song like that. I see a song like Best Friend. Come on, Best Friend, we in the car like, yeah. I see a song like My Bench, you know, get those reactions. Reactions where I'm like, I can see, okay, people is really vibing with these certain oh, songs. Yeah. After that, because it's that it's that old school dime. Even though it's new school dime, when you yeah. still give everybody them hospitality yeah. feels like, oh yeah. shit, like we in the club, like we yeah. might be in the park with our niggas about to roll a J. You feel me? But yeah. we still lit. You feel me? What's the one influential quote, or maybe that that one influential thing? Because I know even on Get Home Safely, you got a letter from Joey on there. Yeah. But um, is there anything else that's like a motivational quote, especially for you? You feel me? That you me? Just kinda, that you kind of go by, yeah. Man, I mean, it's not one certain thing. I just try to be, I just try to like take one day at a time. You know what I'm saying? And go hard each day. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit get overwhelming. Like even for doing this tour, you know what I'm saying? You sit back, you like, damn, we night by night by night by night. How we gonna do all this? What if this happened? Like, fuck all that. You know what I mean? I'm like, when I get the mic, I'm gonna go hard, and then I'm gonna figure out the rest. That's dope. That's my job. That's you know dope. what I'm saying? So. I'll say take that shit one day at a time, man, and, and enjoy every moment. You know what I'm saying? Be in love with the details and the process. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because 
But that's ultimately, yeah, things. what's gonna separate you and from people the, paying yeah. attention to like what details Damn. you yeah. put into what whatever your whatever work your, is. Whatever, whatever your passion it is, is. Yeah. whatever, it don't matter. Yeah. You could be a painter, you could be a you know, make jeans, shit, rap. People gonna look at your work yeah. and they gonna and they gonna judge it by, you know, the shit that's like somebody else might miss. From the outside like, looking I in. I like this yeah. part. I like he extra he I, he thought about this pocket. Dope. I like he thought about this, you know, in yeah. that type of way. And yeah. it's like that's how I try to make my songs. Like anybody approaching their art or what they do on a daily will approach it. Like just trying to be the flyest at it and let people know like I put I put a lot of me into this. this music. Yeah. yeah. And I remember you even talked about um sometimes you listen the beats and you'd be like damn that beat was hard but what was he saying in that song you yeah, know what i'm saying exactly. i feel like when i was listening to half a mil i was learning different things about y'all because <laughs> you, know? yeah, yeah. you you took it back on yeah, i'm gonna let exactly. you listen to it before i tell him but you know what i'm saying you talked about a couple things on there that really i know hit home for you but you yeah. were finally able to comfortable enough in your music yeah. to be able let me talk to my fans and let them know i go through shit too yeah, you know what sure. i'm saying that's i think that's important. one of the dopest things that you were that. able to do oh yeah. that's why i told hit the same thing like that underground music, that's genuine. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Exactly. Like you can't you gotta make that. You can't you can't go for, you can't go to no mainstream, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Radio station, you can't go to no studio, you can't sit down with nobody and you really just say, Hey, I wanna make this, you feel me? That's straight yeah. passion. Last question, for real. <laughs> it keep coming to my head, but um OPM the label. You yeah. signing people now. Last time you were here, what what's the biggest progression, especially on the business side, everything you do with Archie? Yeah. Um, what's the biggest thing that you feel like y'all have progressed with so far as far as the label and what's your biggest goal for twenty nineteen? With our biggest label? goal is is to get the young nation out and let yep. that represent and um the company as a whole the right way and let artists everybody's gonna be on there, but let their best records be on there and then they spin off to do their own solo projects however they see and then fit. Push them together. You know, exactly, but everybody come together. But the biggest business um, yeah, business thing aspect. that we've been able to do is just like, I, I would say just inspiration really, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I never thought I would say that, but I see like all the people, you know, people yeah. found another way. Like I've done a lot of, you know, interviews and seen mm -hmm. the game change a couple of times. Yeah, and it's yeah. like people, you know, respect the fact that, you know, when it wasn't no way, we kind of made a way like now it's a little bit easier but i feel like the inspiration is our most important job you know what i'm saying because the money we make and whatever that's only we only feel that effect the fans don't feel they don't that get that effect. feeling yeah they so see for it. us to get you know rich and make and not put make people feel good with it that's not what we're about exactly we only gonna be as big and as good as the how as, we how as the your people fans feel, yeah. yeah. So it's you dope. know, with that in mind, it's like we try to. Asia Monet was our first R and B artist that we put out right. 2018. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, we was real excited to do that just because we never had nothing outside of rap. You know what I'm saying? Are there any so, other artists we should look out for that's part of OPM label as well? That people, you know what I'm saying? People love um, you. Yeah. When you brought Scheme here last time, that was the first time we heard Scheme. I ain't stopped uh, listening to Scheme since. Uh, you that's feel me? Is saying. there anybody that you know? Um, uh, City Talk viewers. You'll hear some. I don't want to say nothing too prematurely, right. but you'll definitely hear on the Young Nation. You'll hear people that like it's just OPM affiliated, OPM artists okay. that will be like people. You be like, I never heard of this dude, but this one crazy. Okay. I never heard it. You know what I'm like saying? Slimmy this when person, they played that Slimmy out there, niggas, we was yeah. rocking with him. A lot of people didn't think yeah. we knew him, but exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. like things like that. Because yeah, I'm always like working with artists and listening to them. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Whether I'm, I could. Whether they a part of OPM or not, it's definitely people that we always gonna be affiliated with. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And support and like I'm trying we just trying to, you know, grind it out. Yeah. We're trying to grind it out. Fit in with city what we city. doing, yeah. get them opportunity That's to shine because it come back. You know? It's coming full circle, yeah. yeah most likely. Sure. Most definitely. I appreciate you. Yep. My guy. Yep. All right. Come on. City talking yeah. for the four. You know how we do. It's a wrap. I'm on point. That's not the 300, it's the Rolls Royce Stainless steel watch by choice with the gold voice Yeah, okay, Charlotte Let's get this shit poppin' in Get a prey go, wake up real early, the egg a fresh squeeze. You can wear Adidas and Gucci, it mesh clean, and I take any color in the coupe except green. The girls that I used to fuck with is ex fiends, thinking I should spend my money on you. That's extreme. Now, time costs money, and money costs.